Hello, hello, hello. I'm super excited for this video because it is my Mac haul. Well, I guess we can't really tell. Mac haul. And I'm excited to do this video because I love watching other people's Mac hauls. I love seeing swatches. I love basically planning on what I'm going to buy next. Um, and also, I'm really excited to do this so I can take the makeup out of their boxes and start using them. So, um, if you want to see what I got, you want to see some swatches, um, then stay tuned. The first thing I want to show you guys is the palette. I got one of the new MAC palettes and I love it. I love that it's got the clear top. Um, the old palettes were just kind of like um, the BH Cosmetics palettes where it's just like thin and black and it looks cheap and MAC palettes aren't cheap. So I'm so glad they came out with these new ones. They just they feel nice in your hand. And um, not all of these are new purchases, just some of them. So new ones that I have, this one is Sumptuous Olive and it is just a golden olive-y green color. It looks like that. I mean, it's very, very golden. Another new one I got is Trax and it is purple with gold shimmer in it and it looks like this it's really an interesting pretty color but when you put it on the hand you lose a lot of the purple and it shows up really um, gold and, and there's not a whole bunch of pigmentation but it's still a really pretty color this is another one I got it's called hoax and it's a gray purpley brown and it looks like this it's a very very kind of neutral that would actually look really good with tracks so this is um hoax right here hoax tracks some shows olive i picked up kid because it's being discontinued and then I got it into my palette and I realized it looks a whole lot like Wedge. So the one on the, this one is Kid and this one is Wedge. They're not the exact same, but they're pretty darn similar. So um, I picked up Kid because it was being discontinued, but at the end of the day, I was kind of like, oh, I probably didn't need that one. Just like a brown kind of khaki color. Like that. And the last one I got was Mylar because I wanted kind of like a white highlight color. And this one is definitely a highlight. It doesn't have a lot of white pigmentation to it. I mean, it does kind of on the finger, but when you're like putting it on, it loses a lot of the pigmentation. So it's Mylar right there. Very good for highlighting. And the rest of the eyeshadows that were in the palette were ones that I already had. By the way, I'm sorry about the lighting. It's like nighttime, and so these are just like the bulbs that are in the room. They're like that bright blue light. I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. Um, anyway, back to MAC. Um, so this is MAC's Frankly Scarlet. The nice thing about the lights is it's showing up pretty true to color. Like it's just a bright, bright red. It's a matte powder blush. And if you saw my 4th of July tutorial, I used it in there. So that's kind of like full on and then it's kind of swatched out. Once you swatch it out, it almost gets this pinky tone, which really wasn't what I'm looking for, but I'm still glad I have it. It's my only red blush. Um, it's kind of hard to work with though, so I wouldn't say it's for beginners. <laughs> Part of the reason I bought all this stuff was that I have so much makeup and I never use it. I'm so often buying new stuff that I'm not actually using the products that I own. There are products that I've had for months that I've never touched. There are products that all I've done with them is swatched them. And at the most, I've worn products a couple times. So I'm kind of cutting myself off of buying makeup unless I use something up. And so I wanted to kind of get a bunch of MAC stuff to kind of, you know, I don't know, because I wanted a bunch of MAC stuff, that's why. <laughs> and because I don't really have any in my collection, I want to try out a bunch of new stuff. And, um, yeah, so. <sighs> that being said, MAC 
Viva Glam Nikki, the first one. I wanted the second one, but then I had to tell myself, Heather, how many times are you going to wear a bright pastel purple lipstick, especially considering how pasty you are? So I talked myself out of that one, and I got this one instead. This is what Viva Glam Nikki looks like. I also got the lip gloss that goes with Viva Glam Nikki because I wanted a hot pink lip uh, gloss and I never tried out a MAC lip gloss before so this is what it looks like and swatched right next to it this is the lip gloss right here so just a very pink nicely opaque um, lip gloss also purchased um, this lip gloss in chai because it was being discontinued. I'm such a sucker for when they discontinue something because I'm like, oh, I'm not going to be able to get it if I don't get it now. It's awful. But what this is, is a kind of tan brown lip gloss with gold, not necessarily gold, but just with some shimmer in it. And um, yeah, it's kind of like pearlescent. That's a good description. And I wanted to get this because there's a lot of... I love to use lip glosses to kind of change your lipstick into what you wish it was. Like if your lipstick's too pink and you want it to be more brown or whatever. So that's chai right there. It's very pigmented for brown. Browns a lot of times aren't super pigmented. They can kind of show up like clear lip gloss. So that is chai. And... Uh, the last lip gloss I got is possibly the f my favorite purchase from this. This is also limited edition, but I'm so glad I bought it. It's called um, Cult of Cherry, and it is the most beautiful red lip gloss I have ever seen in my life. It's like dark red and with like light red pearlescence to it. I mean, God. I just, I've never seen anything so beautiful in my life. I'm tempted to buy another one since I know that they're discontinuing it just so I always have one of these. So that is Cult of Cherry and I'm almost positive the video is doing it absolutely no justice. It's kind of better when you guys see it in the tube. It's just, <sighs> I'm in love. And let's see, what else do I have in here? I have a glaze in hue because everybody talks about this. Um, so I wanted to try it out. Because <laughs> I've been more into pink lately, which is why I got like Viva Glam Nikki and such. So this is what hue looks like. And then um, I'm just going to swatch it under here so you can kind of see. Since it's a glaze, it comes off really. Um, I've swatched it under Viva Glam Nikki. And so it comes off really light but when I put it on my lips it actually have very good pigmentation so I'm excited to use that and since it's a glaze it's a really light nice formula it's almost like using a lip gloss versus a lipstick the next thing I have is a matte lipstick in velvet teddy this is velvet teddy it's just a matte brown lipstick and I like it because it's got like pink undertones and it's light so it's not too too dark and it's kind of one of the only ones I have so that is Velvet Teddy and it's a fairly moisturizing matte formula so it's not super super dry because like I said I wanted to try out a bunch of different formulas that's why I got glaze and a matte, a Pro Longwear lip cream, lip glasses and I got a Sheen Supreme so that I can kind of get a feel for everything. The packaging is really nice. This is what it looks like. It's a very nice berry based red. I'll just swatch it next to Velvet Teddy. I haven't worn this yet so I can't tell you if it's long wear but I can tell you it's pretty. So that is Perpetual Flame and it goes on a little glossy and stuff so I'm interested to, see, to wear it and kind of see how it wears. And the last part of my haul, this is a Sheen Supreme lipstick, and this one is in um, Asian Flower, 
and the packaging's really pretty. It's like the Pro Longwear, but it's not matte, it's like shiny and the inside is black, not silver. So like this is, I think, probably some of my favorite packaging from MAC, but I love all their packaging. And so it is purple. I love purple. I don't wear it very often, so I try not to let myself buy a bunch of purple, but I really like it. This one is very pink based. So um, that's what Asian flower looks like. And that's it for my haul. So now I get to put all these bad boys on my vanity, start using them, and start working on shopping my collection instead of shopping at the store. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.